So I figured this would be a good time to do my video. This video is a collab with the Ava Ways and I'll have her username right here. Um, and today we're going to be doing a video over fake friends. Um, so how to spot a fake friend? There's so many signs and red flags like so they leave you out a lot. Like you know how your friends invite you somewhere and then like you see it on social media or snapchat and you're like hey i didn't get invited and they're like oh yeah sorry or something like that or like they're really passive aggressive they only talk to you for your clout they leave you out they make you feel guilty um they make fun of your insecurities and it's just like they bring you down a lot or like they remind you of things that you don't like they make you feel uncomfortable or like if they make fun of things that aren't funny um, they just, like, guilt trip you, and they, like, like, it's so many signs. Or, like, they only hang out with you until somebody interesting comes along, and then they, um, like, will talk to you, or, like, when there's nobody else, or, like, when their friends are occupied and they talk to you because they have nobody else to talk to. That's a sign of a negative, toxic friend. And if you're in a situation like that, you need to leave because it will be better for you. Um, fake friends do take a toll on your mental health because it makes you feel like, what am I doing wrong? Um, like, should I change myself to be like them? Or like, maybe they just don't like how I am or whatever. But that's not your problem, it's them. And if you don't fit into their criteria, don't try to like mold yourself into something you don't fit into. Um, fake friends who just like rub things in your face, like always make you feel bad, or like if you bring up something serious to, about you and they just brush it off, that's not okay. That's not a sign of a real friend. A real friend is caring, they're always listening, they're like there for you, like no matter what. Because I had a personal experience with um, a few friends them we're not as close anymore they went to chipotle and i was getting my hair done that day and i couldn't go and my mom was like you know if you found out sooner so they were sending me streaks and like snapchats and like videos and pictures and then i was like what are you guys doing and i was like oh we're just trying to make you jealous and i was like wow really is this what we're doing now we're competing for each other's like love or like trying to make this one jealous when this one isn't available that's not cool i do not like it and it didn't make me jealous it made me sad and it made me feel hurt because that i wouldn't do that i wouldn't go out my way to do that for you so why would you do that for me um they just like having fake friends can take a toll on you in general your mental health your grades how you feel Especially when it's happening in school and it's like up in like your face and you can't do anything about it. Uh, so that's the hardest. Um, yeah, but it's not okay. They only want the attention on them. They're really judgmental and they're like jealous of you. And like try to go out their way to like hurt you. That's not what a real friend does. They talk bad about you behind your back. Like with their other friends. And they just make you feel bad. That's not okay. When they tell people your secrets and make rumors about you and spread it to like the whole school that's not and it makes it hard to trust them because when you meet somebody new you think you can trust them because you're like oh you're so trustworthy you like share your secrets and then you find out that they're out they expose them and the only person you talked to was your friend and you're like well why would you do that like it doesn't make sense they're unsupportive they don't respect you they like invades your personal space and your boundaries and your limits and they use you those are all signs that they're not a good friend and you need to start thinking about what you can do to get rid of them or like create distance or how to get rid of one you just you talk to them about like hey this is what I noticed you were doing this is what I don't like and you let them know that you're not okay with that and if they're like what are you talking about or whatever 
it's a negative situation and you should just try to remove yourself and like like create distance in between you and your friend because it's not okay and you have to show them it's not okay you can't keep giving them chances to hurt you over and over and over again when your feelings are in the way and that's not good for you when they're really controlling and they're always blaming you yes but those are signs on a negative friend a toxic friend a fake friend and how to get rid of them and they do not do well for your mental health at all it just it tears you down and it makes you feel really insecure and it sucks to have somebody who's not supportive of you but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed my video and i hope you guys can use my advice for when you're in a situation and if you're ever in a situation where you feel like you can't reach out to anybody at school or your parents i'll link a few instagram um posts like um the self-care threads they post a lot of stuff about that so if you like need advice or screenshot or something to show to your other friends i'll definitely link that down below my dms are always open and i'm willing to help people see you in the next one